What's up, everybody? I'm John. I'm Ozzy. And today on Cars and Cameras, we are beautifying and transforming our rusty old trailer into a beautiful piece of rolling art that we can tow behind our cozy coop. Last time we found out uh, that it will hold a 600 pound small block Chevy engine. So now all we need to do is make it pretty with some boards, some bed strips from a 66 Chevy C10, and some paint. We went out and we bought some sheet metal, turned them into some quick and dirty fenders. We have our very thin angle line. We are going to turn into a nice perimeter for our wood. We have our stain, went for something nice and red, and we have our pour 15, which is our rust encapsulator, inhibitor, whatever you want to call it. You can check both of these out at links in the description of this video. It's an Amazon link, it's an affiliate link, so if you want to check one out and buy something, we get a little bit of a kickback. Help support your favorite channel. We got to hack this thing up. Yes, we do. And then weld it around the outside. Yep. We've been trying to decide whether to space out the boards so that a lot of the wood and a lot of the grain is highly visible, or if we want to stick it all together as close as they can so they won't shift around. It'll be a lot faster and easier that way, but the boards will only be a little bit wider than the actual strips themselves, and we don't think it'll look better. So after thinking about it <laughs> and thinking about it, we're gonna do the longer, more difficult, but... Better looking. That's right. So I'm also gonna go ahead and trim some of these fenders off just for another couple of inches so we can uh, fit a few more wider items onto the trailer. The chassis is welded up to our liking. It's all scrubbed down. We use some brake parts cleaner to get the, um, the antifreeze uh, from Ike's small block from last time. And uh, yeah, now we just need to paint. cover the space, break out the paint brushes and paint. So we let the stain sit overnight and it is looking good. It's gonna look awesome in this trailer. I think so. It's gonna really pop, especially when we add those. The chrome strips, dude? Strips. Oh yeah. Yeah. So see they're still a little bit wet, but I mean, we're gonna put it together anyway. 
It'll be fine. Yeah. It'll, it'll dry on the trailer just as good as on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. Man, all I got to say is that thing looks legit. Yeah. Just a couple more of these bolts. How many darn bolts do you think we have in this thing, man? Oh, man, I don't know. A lot. All right. Whoa. That thing is amazing. All right. Oh, man. Just, oh, man, that thing is amazing. Yeah. You want to put the wagon on it? Yeah, we got to. We got to. This was the best idea ever. Was it? I'm good. digging it, man. I, it's a, it's, it was a really, really good idea. I think the best idea ever was the rat rod wag. Me, personally. <laughs> I mean, this is going to be a perfect setup for shows and stuff, dude. Uh-huh. I don't think a kid is going to be able to walk by it without wanting to get a picture in both of them. Yeah. All three of them. Yeah. All right. Well, we still need to do the road test. Yeah. By road test, we mean dirt test, thrash test. <laughs> Try to drift the uh, trailer and wagon? I don't know about all that, but we just need to see how it pulls. So, let's load it up and do it. All right. He's a brave man. comfortable back there good felt very smooth from my perspective everything felt great from the front excellent yeah dude so um it's lunchtime yeah dude uh, and it's I, a good time to end the video right yeah i think this i think we came up with the perfect uh show piece to help display these two projects together at like air shows car shows swap meets and Mini Mayhem, our upcoming event, November 24, 25, 26 at Busco Beach. Uh, this is going to be an awesome trailer for when people break down. I think so, Of course, too. it's going to get torn up, but, you know, that's why we built it. I'm going to feel pretty bad, too, because it turned out really, really good. Yeah. But, you know, it'll be all right, man. It'll get used. So head over to our Facebook page at Cars and Cameras Reviews to get more information about our upcoming event, Mini Mayhem uh, Spring 2020. We had over 150 people show up last time from all over the United States to come ride with us out at Busco Beach ATV Park in Goldsboro, North Carolina with almost 2,000 acres of terrain with go-karts, mini bikes, ATVs, dirt bikes, buggies, all kinds of stuff. A snowmobile with wheels even made it out. So uh, come join us out there for that. Of course, 
Uh, check us out in between videos. Get sneak peeks on what we're up to on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. And help support and fund our future projects by picking up a sticker pack at cars-cameras.com. Slap it on your mini bike, slap it on your go-kart, and uh, show your support for Cars and Cameras. This is a sweet rig. It really is. Yeah, very I'm cool. I'm loving it. And check Ike out at... Isaac, it'll be fine. Man, the focus. You know, the cold weather... The focus on the cold the weather is, is weird. Yeah, yeah, very strange. So, warm weather is coming soon. Hopefully. Hopefully. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We will see you next time.